we are going to spend every dollar we make, we're going to put it somewhere. We're either going to put it in things that, 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 go down in value, or we're going to put it in things that go up in value. Uh, but we are going to spend it all and that we should have a commitment to spending for the future. And is there something you could add to that that would make it uh, uh, complete the whole idea of the saving is spending? Well, I would add to that the fact that uh, if you put spending and savings in the se same sentence, people perceive it as polar opposites. Mm. You know, oh, if I don't spend it, I can save it. And if I put it in savings, I can't spend it. Uh, I look at it like you just said. I look at it, I say, forget that polar opposite aspect of it, because they aren't. We spend everything we have, literally. When we put mm -hmm. that money in the bank, we've spent it. We spent it at the bank and the bank gave us in exchange for the money we gave them. They give us a piece of paper that evidences that the bank owes us that money back. If we buy treasury bills or treasury notes from the treasury, or we buy a mutual fund or a real estate investment, we get something that shows evidence that we spent money and that we have something to show for the money that's spent. Uh, so I say spend everything, but take a close look at how you allocate that money. Uh, I use Warren Buffett as an example. Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors, uh, period. Over long periods of time, he has been extremely competent at making good long-term decisions. Uh, and he says his job, and, and those he takes the money and he owns other businesses. That's what he does with the money. That's what Berkshire Hathaway is. It's a holding company for a lot of other businesses. And so Berkshire Hathaway owns all of a lot of businesses and owns some of some businesses. They own parts of Coca-Cola and Geico. I guess they own all of Geico insurance now. They used to own a large part of it. They bought the remaining shares. But the companies that he owns all earn money, or that's the basis on which he makes a decision to buy them. They earn money. And over time, the earnings come back to Berkshire Hathaway or to a shareholder as dividends. That's a distribution of the earnings. And he takes those earnings that, that Berkshire Hathaway receives from all of those companies that are held in the portfolio. And he takes those earnings and he redeploys them and buys other businesses. He says his job as chairman of Berkshire Hathaway is to be an asset allocator. He allocates the earnings of the businesses that he holds as investments. He reallocates those earnings into other businesses that can go on to grow and have more earnings himself. Well, if people would just take that approach and say, I'm going to spend everything just like Warren Buffett does. He spends those earnings. He may take those earnings and buy treasury bills if he wants to have readily available cash, but he spends the money. He says, I am an asset allocator. We should all be asset allocators and we should focus our time on making sure we're allocating enough money into things that will be worth more in the future. That's positive spending. Positive spending is spending on something that will have greater future financial value in the future. Negative spending is spending on things that will have zero financial value in the future. We need to have a much greater percentage of our spending spent on things that are positive in nature and that will be worth more in the future.